Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com and today we are going to do an important session for IBPS SO Marketing Mains 2023 exam, right? So students, these topics are going to be repeated in the exams. Har baar repeat hote hain. Is baar bhi ye repeat hone hi wale hain, theek hai? So let's start the session. At least two questions from this particular session that I'm going to do today. Hardly 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minute session and you're going to find two questions in the exam, right? First of all, the SWOT analysis. What is SWOT analysis? All of you have done MBA in marketing. Uh, you might have done this particular topic. What is SWOT analysis? But many students, they confuse it. Okay, many students students this. confuse kar kar hain. SWOT is strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. First of all, you should know the full form of SWOT. Strength, weakness, opportunities and threats. As an organization, uh, what is the strength of the organization? What are the weaknesses of the uh, organization? So strength and uh, weaknesses, strength and weaknesses, these are the internal factors. Okay, whatever the strength or weakness is there, it is an internal thing. Opportunity and threats, they are the external things. They come out of the organization, not from inside. Okay, so uh, let's, let's say, Let's do the analysis of Apple, Apple Inc. Okay, so let's do it. What is the strength of Apple? They have the ecosystem. They have the ecosystem. People who are using the Apple devices, they'll keep, they are using it from a long time. They are the loyal users, right? So that is, uh, that is a strength of Apple. What are the weaknesses? What is the weaknesses? Uh, lack of innovation now. I mean, from last few years, there is a lack of innovation and other companies may overtake Apple. Lack of, lack of innovation, lack of innovation. That is, a, that's what I think. This may not be, uh, you know, correct, but that's what I personally think. Okay. Just to explain the concept I'm telling you okay I'm not a technology expert but that's what I think so what are the opportunities opportunities are there uh, from out of the organizations right so there is an opportunity from wearables and Apple is a market leader when it comes to wearables so Apple is having Apple watch right they are the largest uh, watch uh, making company in the whole world. Sabse zyada watches Apple ki bhikti hain aaj ki date mein. Way more than any other company. So uh, wearable is a future and Apple is doing already doing really well in that particular segment. So what is the potential threat? What is the potential threat? Uh, innovation is again, it is a potential threat. Metaverse, what do you say? Maybe, uh, you know, metaverse is the future of internet and Apple is not ready for that. In case Facebook's metaverse becomes successful, Apple would be, you know, won't be the same company, right? It'll, it'll go out of business. It's actually difficult, but we cannot predict the future. Uh, metaverse is a threat to Apple. Okay. So that's, that's a SWOT analysis of Apple. So you can do a homework, you can do SWOT analysis of Maruti, you can do a SWOT analysis of Tata Motors, right? Or you can do a SWOT analysis of HDFC Bank yourself. This is a homework for you, right? So um, in the SWOT analysis, what are the internal factors? So internal factors are strengths and weaknesses are the internal factors for SWOT analysis. Okay. In strategic planning uh, organization, uh, what does SWOT analysis stand for? Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Okay. Uh, the next topic, students, what is marketing environment? See students, there are mic uh, in the marketing environment, there can be, uh, you know, we can divide it into two uh, portions, micro environment, and there can be external or macro environment. So many students confuse micro environment with internal in environment. Uh, in the internal environment, there is management there, there are employees. But in the micro environment, suppliers are also there. Suppliers are there, customers are there, intermediaries, uh, 
uh, your competitors may be there right so this is the task environment so micro environment is not only internal environment task environment is also there and this is an important point external in the external environment there are political technological economic demographic factors are there okay so that is our question micro environment is a dash environment of the company it is not internal environment it is the working environment it is the working environment of the company so all the all the people who are working with the company they they but they are part of the micro environment okay because see task environment is also there not just the internal environment okay so buying roles very important concept suppose you want to buy a car suppose you want to buy a car you are you know let's say you are a 40 years old man let's say you are a 50 years old man right and your son is let's say 20 years old right and uh, let's say your five is 45 wife is 45 years old so it's you it's your wife who's 45 and it's your son uh, so <clears throat> your wife came to you and asked you that we should have a car we should buy a car so she is the initiator okay most of the times women are initiators <laughs> so she's an initiator uh, she come up with a demand or whatever you say she needs a car although she she don't know how to drive it she doesn't know how to drive a car but she needs a car and then influencer okay you you went to a friend you have a best friend you went to him and asked okay um, what should i do should i buy a car or not and your friend told you okay yes you should buy a car it's a good thing go buy it he's an influencer somebody who is influencing your decisions is an influencer okay decider uh, so uh, you are a 50 year old man never you never bought a car you are not really interested although you know you don't even know how to drive but your 20 years old son he has a driving license he knows how to drive a car and he knows a lot about it and he is very excited about it so you discussed with him and he told you yes dad uh, we should buy a tata car tata motors car we should buy a nexon okay and he'll tell you that i need a gray color car or a white color car right we should buy that so he's a decider so he decides that we should buy a so the son is a decider then okay you said okay i don't really know much about it you said uh, tata nexon okay i'll buy tata nexon and you went to the showroom okay the car dealership and you bought the car okay you you filed your papers and you took a loan auto loan and you bought the car you got the car home your son drive it and he's a uh, at the end of the day he's a end user okay your son he's a end user of the car okay so uh, that's about the buying rules okay parent buy toys for the children acts as what in the buying process so the parent uh, buy toys for the children they are deciding which which toy to buy they are the actual buyer and they are the maintainers right so all of above is a correct answer okay now uh, next the bcg matrix uh, bcg matrix what does bcg uh, you know stands for boston consultancy group or boston consulting uh, group okay uh, boston consulting group so students let's again take the example of apple so students uh, every company who's having a lot of products right uh, they they want to divide the products into various categories to make the strategies so uh, whether the resources from category a should be you know implemented to category b okay so uh, let's say the company apple is making a lot of money from iphones from apple watches so they take the money from that and then they are investing that in the in the car business or auto uh, auto drive mode or uh, streaming services which is uh, which is not making money for apple or the gaming service which is not making money for apple but apple is investing in that apple is investing for its future okay so what is a star a star is a business where the market growth rate is high and relative market share is also high 
which product of apple is a star tell me it is an apple watch the growth rate is really high market rate of uh, the gro uh, growth rate and market share of apple is also very high apple watch is a star for apple okay apple watch or airpods growth rate is high and market growth rate is also very high okay then what is a question mark for apple where the growth rate is high but relative uh, what do you say market share is actually low you can you can actually tell me in in the comment section what is the question mark for apple although there are not many uh, i don't think apple is having any question mark as of the moment there are none right uh, one is there i guess apple tv apple tv the market uh, growth rate is high a lot of people are using streaming services netflix youtube i mean it's this business is booming but apple is not able to perform well market share of apple is very low uh cash cows the market growth rate is low the business is not growing but market share is huge uh that is premium premium smartphone category or mehenge wale smartphones right in that particular category i uh, the apple iphone is a market leader all around the world right the dogs where the market uh, growth rate is low and the relative market share is also low uh i would say max okay uh, i max the desktop market the market share of apple is actually low and the market of the desktops is actually not growing i'm specifically talking about max uh and not really about the even about the laptops the uh, market share of apple is low okay uh so in the bcg matrix bcg stands for boston consulting group and what does star symbolizes star symbolizes a growth star symbol why growth star symbolizes growth because there the market growth rate is high and relative market share is also high okay that is why the star uh, it's a it symbolizes the growth of the company symbolizes growth of company okay the possible and desirable future state of an organization is called what uh obviously c and d is not uh, an option many students are going to confuse between mission and vision you should know the difference between mission and vision so what is the difference between mission and vision the possible and desirable future state of organization is called vision i mean what we want to be what we want to be as an organization what our organization wants to be that is the vision okay how would we reach that position that is a pathway that is a mission okay a vision possible desirable future outcome right and a mission how we are going to reach it right defines what an organization is why it exist so vision is is broader vision ka meaning broad hai kafi mission se right uh, vision is like uh, i mean you might have if you are listening some youtube or podcast this is my vision i want to become you know chief minister of my state i want to become mla or this is my vision i want to have a million subscribers some people don't really have any vision most people don't really have any vision but still i mean organizations must have so the possible and desirable future state of organization is called a vision right and the next question um, the maslow theory so uh, abraham maslow he came up with the uh, you know this theory uh, maslow's hierarchy theory how to motivate employees what how what are the needs of employees employees ki needs kya hain theek hai the first thing that and a person needs is the physiological needs so the very first thing to survive you need food you need water you need shelter safety from rain right safety from the harsh environment this is the first and the basic human need 
once that need is satisfied now you have more needs right now you need security you need uh, your uh, your uh, safety of your employment you need uh, health healthcare facilities right these are the safety needs once you have the money you have you got the job you got uh, you know food water and everything now there is love and belongingness need we are human beings uh, we need friends we need we have intimacy needs okay we we need a family a sense of connection this is a basic human need if you have that uh, nothing bad about it this is this is this is a basic human need that's totally fine esteem needs now uh, you got the love and belongingness now you you are expecting you know respect you got married you got a girlfriend you got married now you are expecting respect from the society from the you know your partner or friends of your partner family of your partner right these are the esteem needs okay now you got the respect you got the money you got the employment you got good food everything you got now uh, now you got uh, you know little crazy and now you realize that no i don't need this i wanted to become a musician i wanted to become a writer uh, you are trying to achieve what you actually wanted to do in the beginning okay so let's say in, uh, while you were 15 years old you wanted to become a musician now you know um, at the age of 35 40 you wanted to become a musician and you're working for it which is actually not bad but these are self actualization needs desire to become most that one can be if you have a you know you are a good singer and you used to sing at home now you want to become a professional singer i hope you got the point according to maslow theory in order to motivate an employee there are five basic needs choose the correct order there is physiological need and the security social esteem and then self actualization okay then there is another concept of market segmentation repeated most of the times students let's say you want to promote uh, i hope you have already heard about kinder joy kinder joy so let's say you are the marketing manager of kinder joy how would you promote kinder joy how would you do that let's say you can make an advertisement online okay how would you promote kinder joy as a marketing manager i would reach the place where uh, kids are there jo cheeze bacche chote dikh rahe hain uh, up to the age of 7 or 8 i would reach there let's say on youtube i'll target uh, kids videos let's uh, on the tvs i'll i'll promote the videos on cartoon network kind of things right on these kind of channels right so uh, how i'm doing this i am segmenting the market dividing the market on the basis of uh, a, on the basis of various factors that's what we are going to discuss these are the factors geographics can be there according to the location so uh, the people from the city of ludhiana people from the city of chandigarh people pan india or people from this particular locality this particular pin so this is this is geographics demographic according to the age gender income education status uh, family life stage occupation so this is the demography now this is confusing uh, the physiographic and the behavior so behavior when you go to a website let's like, give you an example how do you behave right or when you go to a store how do you actually behave what are your expectations right when you go to uh, when you want to buy milk right if you want to drink tea what would you do you'll go to a nearby kirana store right and you will buy a 1 liter uh, milk pack of 1 liter milk along with some sugar you'll come back home and you will you'll make your own tea right this is your behavior right this is your behavior on diwali you go to a sweet shop you buy some sweets that is your behavior that has been inculcated from a long period of time wo aadat ban gayi hai kafi time se and that became your behavior okay so that is the behavioral thing and then the psychographic that is more about how you think that is about your intent and opinions okay it is difficult to uh, you know divide uh, 
द मार्केट अकॉर्डिंग टू फिजियोग्राफिक्स इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू नो द वैल्यूज और एटीट्यूड ऑफ पीपल टूवर्ड्स समथिंग राइट लेट से यू आर लुकिंग फॉर हेल्थ कॉन्शियस पीपल Uh, it's actually sometimes difficult uh, this is your lifestyle becoming health conscious yeah that is the right way to explain the physiographics let's say you are trying to sell um, you know uh, <coughs> sorry sugar free chavan prash let's say now it's actually difficult to you know uh, to know i mean it's actually very personal thing to ask somebody whether that person is health conscious or not okay so lifestyle that's how a person thinks that's the opinion of a person right he wants to maintain a good physique that's a mentality that is physiographic okay it's difficult to know that okay uh which of the following is not a demographic character uh so uh personality i guess is not okay personality anxious this is not okay so students uh that's actually all um IBPS SO Marketing 2022 2023 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com we are providing the video classes the notes a test series uh, proper quizzes are there doubt clearing sessions are there everything is available on bankexamstudy.com uh, if you like this demo session you would love the full course right we are going to do the live sessions for the mains as, as well uh, links are available in the description uh, or you can also whatsapp us we are going to answer all your doubts okay Uh that's actually all for today students uh thank you and have a very nice day all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them right so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye